大家好 ，As you can see, this is a very raw video. I look very raw, okay? And it's a recipe video. We want to share this recipe because it is delicious, it is easy, and it's low carbs. When I say we share, I actually meant John will share because he's the creator of this recipe. Uh, I am the eater. <laughs> so John, what is this recipe called? I have no idea what this recipe is called. It is a bolognese, Mexican chili, kind of a Korean wrap thing. What's it called? What do you call it? I don't know. Ask Rose. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> Apparently it's called... Samgyeopsal. Samgyeopsal. But that is the actual dish with like the pork and then the lettuce. What mm -hmm. we're going to be doing is just wrapping our meat that I'm about to make in lettuce. And that is called... Some. 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 So today, uh, John's recipe is the Italian-inspired low-carb some. Some. Yes. <laughs> some. Thank you, Rose. Let's have some fun now. Let's go. <laughs> Here are the ingredients. Um. Wait, John. That wine. What's it doing there? Oh no, no, no. That's just for me to deal with your bullshit. Excuse me. You caught yourself. The rain. Step number one is to prep. So I took some notes from the previous videos, your comments. Apparently, you need to cut the onions first. Oh no, shit. I mean, you are supposed to cut the garlic first because it needs to breathe. Hey, sous chef. Every time John cooks, she sure sit right next to him. All right, next up, we're going to cut the capsicums and I'm going to show you the cool way to cut them. Put it up like this and we cut down the side. See that? Now we don't get any seeds. We don't have to deal with all the annoying seeds. And we just get that beautiful edge of the vegetable. If you think I'm wrong, Gordon Ramsay does this too, huh? <laughs> Whoa, why? It sounds Malaysian, huh? Hey! <laughs> John, what does it feel like to be uh, the talent right now? <laughs> and I'm the camera woman. Relaxing? Relaxing. Uh. Yeah. Easy. Uh. Ah. You are a naughty, noisy girl. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be talent also, is it? That's why. <laughs> huh? <laughs> it's starting to look a lot like, like Christmas. Christmas. Oh my gosh, you didn't even reverse that. John? Yes. Am I the prettiest girl in the world? Yes. <laughs> get it, get it, get it! Cat, 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 correct, cat, yeah, I, I mean... It's very bad, uh, terrible. Terrible. Even Mia thinks it's bad. Right, right Mia? Yeah. Next, we peel the carrot. Guys, I may know how to cut capsicum, but I have no idea how to cut carrots. I'm just gonna, I always do it like this, but... It's... It's never easy. So please guys, let us know in the comment section if there's a better way to dice carrots because I really need to know. Wow, what a chef! Okay, finally we are cutting the onion. You apparently need to cut this one last. You guys taught me that in another video. Because the onion can pick up bacteria very easily, okay? So we don't want to cut it right at the beginning of the process. Why you cry? Don't cry. I got a lot of feelings. <laughs> Same thing as the garlic. We want to dice up this onion nice and fine. So it looks like this. Really? Not enough space. My body's moving everywhere. I know what to do. You guys taught us in one of our live streams, you've got to wet a towel and put it underneath the chopping board to stop it from slipping. Wow, you see that? It's not moving anymore. Cooking hacks. Yeah, probably when you guys do it, uh, do this first lah. Yeah. <laughs> not at the end of the chopping process. Noob! Noob! Don't be a noob, okay? So now once you're done with all of the prep, you've diced everything, you'll have one bowl with onion and garlic and one bowl with the carrots and capsicum. Now, it's time to cook! I see John cook also, I'm hungry already. Eat some chips and maybe steal his wine. Hey! 
Oh, it does not pair well. It's damn gross, man. <laughs> Serves you right. <laughs> Alright guys, it is time to cook. You're gonna need a big pot to fit everything inside. First thing, get it nice and hot. Focus la tail. And then we're gonna add in some olive oil. We're making quite a lot, so don't be worried about putting a bit a bit too much oil. Because we got about six, seven servings here. What are you doing, John? I'm just making sure the oil goes all over the pan. Oh, I thought you're having a mental breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> uh. More wine, please. All right, so to check if the oil is hot enough, take one piece of onion. Oh, it's it's pretty much there. Start sizzling a bit. You want to make sure it sizzles, otherwise it's just going to soak up all the fat. Whoa, got the ram seal. Wait. Oh. How long should they like cook this? Okay, so you want this to cook until the onion becomes a bit like translucent and soft. Translucent? Wow, yeah. chef Whoa. terms. <laughs> is this part of recipe too? Just to speed up the process. <laughs> what is that? TikTok. <laughs> All right. Next up, we're gonna pour in the onions. Uh, we cook it until everything gets a bit more soft. Wow. Now we're just gonna lower the heat a bit, just so it doesn't burn. Now everything's gonna start cooking. Stir around every now and then. And during this point, you can just season it. With a bit of pepper, a bit of salt. So for people who are noobs like me, right? We don't know how much to put like in terms of salt and pepper. So do you have any advice? It's always how much flavour that you want. So if you want it to be really flavorful, you put loads of different seasonings, salt. But for me I just put a bit of salt in the first few processes, then I'm good. I don't like too salty. Wow, the smell is so good, it's making me more hungry. Potato chip break! Mm. Alright, ready Jen? Let's shoot the next part. Oh wait. What? Oh, you're so busy eating, is it? <laughs> okay, now that the vegetables have softened up a bit, we don't want them to be completely cooked through, but they've softened up a bit. What I like to do is I push them all to the side, and then we throw in around 400 to 500 grams of minced meat. The reason I cook it into that side part is so that it kind of sears the edges a little bit. How long should they cook this for? Okay, so for the beef or any of the mincemeat that you want to use, you want to cook it until it's just turning brown. And then once that's done, we throw in the tomatoes. Wow, it's lai liao, man. The smell is lai liao. Oh my goodness. Say, it's lai liao. It's lai liao. Okay, so once all the meat has turned brown like this, you're ready to pour in your diced or sliced tomatoes. You can also use like pasta sauce for this. And a great tip, once you've emptied this, fill up a bit of water and pour that in as well. Just about less than half. Stir up the rest of the pot. Now it's just a matter of stirring it, mixing everything together. Leave it to boil for around 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Keep checking it, make sure there's still some juice. John made it chow ta before, so uh, make sure you pay attention to it. Yes. He was so pissed, he was going to like throw this pot away. <laughs> so if you're using these sliced canned tomatoes, once they get a bit soft, you can just mash them up make sure they break down a bit. You can put the lid on and just let it slow cook for the next 20 minutes. Just reduce the heat, bring it down and just let it slow cook. While this cooks, John cleans. Bin to wan na, can yeah, yeah, cook, yeah. can clean wu yo. Don't worry, I'll just cook, I'll clean, you just film, <laughs> alright? All good. And the best girlfriend goes to... John! <laughs> Okay, it's been cooking for about 15 minutes. We're just gonna check on it, make sure everything's okay. And then we're gonna add in some spices. Looking good, looking good. All right, ready for the spices? Lai Liao. We got some Mexican chili. That's where the Mexican part is. Make it a little bit spicy. We're gonna add in some oregano leaves. Oregano. It's not oregano. It's <laughs> oregano. Right. Oregano, as the British will say. And then, some paprika. Just a little bit of paprika. Okay. But this is to taste, right? So if they want more, they can put more also, right? Exactly. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna stir all that in. This is gonna add that smokiness, extra little bit of flavor. Stir it all in, let it cook for a little bit. And then we're gonna have a taste test. It's been 20 minutes. Cook, I won't cook lah. But taste, I will, okay? So let's have a little taste test. Oh my flavor. Huh? No, it's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Get out your heartbeat. Yeah, like, Drop a bit, right? What? <laughs> if you guys want to boil it longer, like 40, 45, 50, one hour minutes. One hour minutes. <laughs> <laughs> also can. <laughs> one hour minutes. <laughs>
If you guys want to keep boiling it longer, you can, like 45 minutes, one hour, but make sure it's still juicy, all right? You don't want to burn it. We're going to add in our final ingredient, the Tabasco chipotle sauce. Just a few little drops of this. This will give some spice. Yeah, so. some sourness, some spice. Just mix that in. It makes it stand out of the crowd, you know? Ooh, stand Ooh. out crowd. Ooh. 100 hour minutes. Eh? One hour minutes. <laughs> So the longer you boil it, the more sloppy and more flavorful it becomes. But you know what? I like it like this. I'm hungry. I want to eat. So let's do that. So remember I said about the Korean sam? We want to wrap the meat in something. I just washed up some baby butterhead. You guys can use any salad leaf. You just wrap it up. Eat that. Yeah! Now you can already eat it like this. Uh, that's how we normally eat it, like animals. So right now, since it's a special night, we're gonna display it. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to display it. Wow, doesn't look appetizing. Asking you, uh, John, appetizing more. How appetizing? We got John's amazing Italian inspired sum with some baby hit. Gonna amp up the romance, okay? Oh. Wow. Let's amp the romance. Candle lighted dinner. Candlelight sum. Let's eat it! Come, let's eat, let's eat, let's eat! Right now, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to eat this sum. Clearly, I don't know how to cook, but I sure as hell know how to eat. So firstly, you need to do this. Take a bit, a spoonful, apply it. Apply it to the perfect piece and eat it. <laughs> so oh simple. God. Is it good? Oh my god. Is it the best I've ever made? Yeah. Why are you add? Why, why, are you, why are you change up? Uh? It's damn good. Eh? Mm. Mm. Low carb, delicious, a bit spicy. We should change the name. It should be spicy Italian inspired low carb sum. Nailed it. There we go, guys. That's the title. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and have an amazing day ahead. Bye! <laughs> Do re mi fa so an chen hey. It has been a while since I operated the camera. So if some of these shots are off focus, it looks very weird, it's my fault lah, okay? And also because I got this tower turban, it's very heavy, you know, so it's very difficult to operate the camera. Yeah, 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, Jen. Okay. <laughs>